Good day, grade 7. Welcome to arts class. Our topic for fourth quarter art 7 is all about Philippine festivals and theatrical forms. Compend Standard Performance Standard and most essential learning competencies. And for the pre-test, identify the statement and arrange the jumbled letters for the answer. You only have 5 seconds. Ready? It conveyed by dance movement, sometimes accompanied by dialogue. The answer is dance drama. It is a visually striking performance or display, an event or scene regarded in terms of its visual impact. The answer is a spectacle. It is agreeable or harmonious relation of parts within a whole. The answer is proportion. The word theater is derived from the Greek word Theomai, meaning to see. The performance itself may appeal either to the ear or to the eyes. While theater arts is a collaborative form of fine arts that uses live performers to present the experience of a real or imagined event before a live audience in a specific place. And for lesson number three, we will focus in the representative Philippine theatrical forms. Philippine theater comes in a variety of forms and these include religious and non-religious acts or productions usually shown or performed during the festivals covering a wide spectrum of resources and origins. The kinds of theater productions listed here are the most famous performed in the Philippines and are widely known throughout the country and in Asia, most of which are influenced by the Spanish and other Asian countries. Shadow Puppetry Puppets are made of animal skin and sticks. Puppeteer performs from the back of a white cloth with light at the back of puppets. Shadow Puppetry is an ancient art form that uses flat, expressed figures to produce cut out figures which are held together by sticks and sometimes threads to create movement which are shown behind a thin layer cloth or screen and a light source to create the shadows.
Shadow puppetry, also known as shadow play, has been formed since the time of Dr. Jose Rizal, when he stage play the entitled Carillo. Rizal used a carton and a stick and he positioned this at the back of a large white cloth, using a candle to illuminate the back of the puppets to create the shadow. Carillo or shadow play, this is a form of dramatic entertainment performed on a moonless night during a town fiesta or on dark nights after a harvest. The dialogues are drawn from a corridor or awit or some religious play interspeared with songs. For the next slide, you're gonna see the various names of Carillo from different places. Titiri in Zambales, Titres from Bataan, Capiz, Ilocos Norte, Pangasinan and Negros, Gagalo and Kikimut from Tarlac and Pampanga, Carillo in Manila, Rizal, Batangas, and Laguna, and Ali Ala from La Union. Dance drama is popular for retailing of famous national literatures. Actors act out seen through a complex gesture language, which imitates actions in real life and are required rhythmic body movements as expressive public performance. Dance drama is performed through dance movements, frequently with dialogue or sometimes even singing. These movements are often accompanied by other elements such as dialogue, pantomime, chants, and costumes. Though the main focus of dance drama would be the movements and gestures of the actors, creating the right setup, props, and costumes go a long way. And just like any theater or drama performance, visual arts through costumes and setting play a big role in creating the right feel or ambience to deliver the message of the story of the dance drama. The next is Comedia. It is a play written in verse, comes from 16th century Spanish Comedia or play. It is one of the colorful theatrical tradition in the Philippines, used by the Spanish as a method to spread Christianity. Moro Moro is one example of Comedia. All Moro Moro plays follow the pattern of a love affair between a Muslim Filipino prince and Christian princess. Religious differences became the main obstacle of their romance. Included in their costumes and props are the shields, swords, lances, and daggers of the armed soldiers. Christians and Muslim novels are dressed in gaudy and loud colored costumes and often seen marching up and down the stage, striking pompous, arrogant stylized, and exaggerated poses.
Zarzuela, originated from the Spanish form of musical theater. The dramatic action is carried through the alternating combination of song and speech and incorporates vocal ensembles, various types of folk music, and dance. In the Philippines, the sarsuela is an art form of lyric theater drama. Comical in nature and it is incorporated with singing, dancing, and dialogue. It is a play in prose. The depicting the peculiarity of romantic love among idealized Filipino characters that are often accompanied by topics of love, contemporary social, political, economical, or cultural issues for relevance and added interest. Zarzuelas are usually nationalistic in theme and plot are showcased by actors and actresses wearing traditional costumes. Our Filipinianas Barong Tagalogs, and other local wear in the conventional era. Aside from that, traditional Filipino-inspired props such as capis and rattan are utilized in zarzuela. Senacolo, during the season of Lent, one of the most famous events that is shown in the theater play of Sinacolo, usually depicting the stories and events from the Old and New Testaments related to the life of Jesus Christ. It takes at least eight days to be performed, from the Palm Sunday to Easter Sunday, in different places, either on the street, on stage, or in a chapel or church. Traditionally, it is acted out on a proscenium-type stage with painted cloths or paper backdrop called telon. There are modernized versions of the play, but they deliver the same message through showcasing the different costumes worn during biblical times and the weapons and props used for the character are well made as well to create an authentic feel to the performance. Locals act as soldiers with menacing painted masks and armors and act out scenes even outdoors. Making the costumes and props takes a lot of thoughts and efforts to be able to represent the characters well and that also includes creating the stage when performed indoors and what backdrop to use for which scenario. All in all, the creation of costumes, props, and settings come together to support the creation of the whole production. And for the activity, complete the table of Philippine theatrical forms. We have shadow puppetry, dance drama, comedia, zarzuela, and sinacolo. Identify its short description, costumes, props, and settings. And for your art activity, paper dolls, you have to create your own miniature costumes by tracing the figures of paper dolls using the different art materials. You are encouraged to use recycled materials to minimize the cost. A separate instructional video will be provided for this activity. That is the end of my presentation. I hope you learn a lot about representative Philippine theatrical forms. Here are the references that I've used in doing my presentation. Photos used here are from Canva. 
credits to the owners of different photos used per slides, acknowledgement or underneath each pictures. This has been your teacher, Mrs. Cynthia Soledad S. Aspe. Thank you for watching my video lesson. Before I end, allow me to share something to ponder from William Shakespeare. The object of art is to give life shape. Have a nice day, grade 7!